reporting for TTNHD Production Live here with Babu Subramaniam, an assistant director, director who's been in the business for 25 years now. How did you get involved in the business? Well, um, I started out uh, in uh, Bombay, now called Mumbai. I prefer to call it Bombay. Uh, and a lot, uh, a lot of my uh, uh, close friends that I grew up with, their family was in the movie business. So we would um, uh, talk movies all the time. And one of my best friends that I um, went to school with, um, his dad was a uh, Bollywood filmmaker. And so I used to hang out at his house and a lot of these filmmakers that would come to see his dad and um, and so when he got a shot at directing his first movie, um, I was very interested in, in working with him and uh, and that's how I started. So I started working with him and I did I, wor I worked on like um, four Bollywood movies before I got a chance to uh, work um, um, on a movie um, that was uh, shot in South America. And the lead actor that was in that movie was um, an actor by the name of Kabir Bedi, who um, who was in this first Bollywood movie that I had the privilege of working. So it was through him that I got uh, invited to uh, work with him on this project uh, in South America. And that's how I left. And then um, we finished the movie in South America, and then I had a couple of options, either go back to Bombay or um, or go with this, it was an Italian film that was shot in, in South America. So or go back to Italy with this crew so I could gain some experience there. Or, or come to New York, uh, and I had like a tourist visa for New York. So I decided to come to New York, I hang out in New York for about six months. I saw a lot of movies and, uh, and I ran out of money. And so I had two other choices, go back to Bombay or go to Italy. So I went to Italy, worked there, did some odd jobs here and there, and then replenished my bank account, and then came back uh, to New York, and then went to film school in New York for a while, and then um, lived in New York and worked on a, a few of these um, Italian films, the Bud Spencer, Terrence Hill movies, that came to um, the U.S. to shoot. So a lot of these films were shot in Florida, and so I lived in New York, worked on these movies in Florida, and then finally I drove cross country in uh, 1980 to Los Angeles, and I've been here since. And you worked on ER for a number of years. What was your favorite part about working on that TV show? Well, um, the ER um, was primarily shot as a movie for television in 94. Um, um, and, um, so it was just another job. Uh, it, 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 it was prepped really fast. It was like some 80, 85 speaking parts. We prepped it in like two weeks and shot it in like three weeks. And then we found out that it was that NBC um, wanted to do it as a series and they decided to, to order 13 episodes of the show. So I got a call from uh, John Wells and his office saying would I be interested in working on the series. Rod Holcomb was the guy that directed the pilot and I would worked on a few projects with Rod and so he asked me whether I would like to, I would want to work on the pilot and at that time I was remodeling my house, I wanted to stay in town so it was a perfect job. So I did the pilot and then the series was in town so I did the series, the 13 became 22, then became year two and year three, and then I worked on the show for like eight years, and I moved up to directing on that series, and it was a great job. It was like the best job that I've ever had. And currently, you're working on a pilot. I just finished a pilot, it was called, it's called uh, Outlaw Country. We shot it in Nashville, it was for effects, and um, with uh, uh, John Hawks, uh, Mary Steenburgen, uh, and uh, and I just found out that effects uh, uh, is not going to pick it up uh, for series, so so we move on to the next big thing. And that would be your feature film. That's what I'm working on right now. Is is focusing on 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 this movie, which is based on a true story, um, 
Um, it's called Smuggling for Gandhi. Um, it's uh, set here in Los Angeles. It's about an Indian doctor who um, uh, who commits uh, um, um, crimes without knowledge so he could um, help his patients and gets into serious trouble with the law and then finally um, rescues himself is the story. And other than IMDb, is there somewhere online where we can follow you? Well, um, I'm in the process of um, putting together a website for my company, which is Lakshmi Film. There's also going to be a website for Smuggling for Gandhi. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there's already a website uh, presently. It's just launched. We're just about putting information on it. It's called uh, justiceforddrpat.org, mm -hmm. which is a, uh, a nonprofit website basically trying to uh, uh, get this doctor uh, uh, a presidential pardon. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Babu, and best of luck with your upcoming project. Okay. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure talking to you. All right. I'm Katie Allman reporting for TTNHD Production Live.